Steamboat geyser is decades old. Dry spell caused by history. Drought a new study finds with global temperature increases. America. The West is projected to be drier. Sustained drought in this region could. Slowing and possibly stopping Yellowstone. The National Park's famous geyser eruption. Researchers say even small changes. Rainfall can affect. Intervals between eruptions explained. Charles Hurwitz, a hydrologist at United States Geological Survey USGS who leads studies. Geysers require very specific conditions to forms including hot springs, proper geological supply, and plumbing. Environmental conditions like drought can tip that balance and cause geysers. For inactive new studies published in Geochemistry Geophysics Geosystems used partially mineralized wood by steamboat geyser to reconstruct its past period inactivity and determine what causes it geyser dry spell the tallest active steamboat in the world geysers can spray water up to about 115 meters 377 feet into the air during that time as 90 minutes at a different time old faithful park geyser steamship not erupt on a predictable schedule with eruption intervals ranging from only three days to 50 years according the usgs is now being sought by researchers understand what activity geysers have increased and decreased over the centuries when steamboat pops geysers hot water spray coats nearby trees silica is a mineral that can prevent the siliconist decomposition slowly smothering the tree ultimately kills them while preserving the wooden structure as a result trees died around it geysers can be preserved for centuries longer than usual makes them useful tool for studying the history of geysers you rarely find wood even dead wood it's over 300 years since mold and other bacteria decompose it's Hurwitz said silica basically protecting trees from fungus for us this is an advantage because if they are not silicified we will not have any trees until recently made up lodgepole pines almost all of yellowstone forest however they have an average lifespan only 150 to 200 years Hurwitz and his team capitalize this preservation process and collected silicate wood samples from within 40 years 46 feet from the geyser hole through the radiocarbon dating they found that sample trees swarmed around three time periods of the late 15th century mid 17th century and late 18th century water coming out of the geyser rich in silica and when silica the sediment clogged the pathway let the tree breathe photosynthesize and grow this shows that when the tree grows right near mound no Hurwitz eruptions explained Hurwitz and his team fit all three the period of tree growth around the geyser to regional climate records and found that the drought happened during the same time the time that this tree grows most likely environmental conditions reducing the local water supply prevents steamboat from erupting and allows trees to grow but geysers not yet remain inactive for a long time in the steamboat case we didn't find any every remnant of the tree from that silicate wood having more than 10 or 20 annual rings which shows us that trees never growing up around the area so there not a long time for many people decades or centuries continuously growth but with global temperatures on the rise extended the drought in america west could be less and less yellowstone Hurwitz geyser activity said because we are heading in the direction of what was predicted being a warmer and drier climate in the 21st century we might expect to see geysers have a completely different behavior in terms of the interval between them eruptions erupt less frequently and some of them may even become extinct popular geysers like old faithful cans become less loyal to their eruptions 
schedule as their water supply lesson. This change in geyser activity could have long-term implications for how Yellowstone National Park manages visitation as a whole, said Hurwitz.